What's going on, J Squad? It's your host, JW. Before I, I get into this video, I want you to click that like button, leave your thoughts in the comment section box below, and of course, click that subscribe button. If you're new, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Justin, aka JW, and welcome. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. So I want, uh, this is not going to be a review or anything. I'm just going to sit back with y'all. I'm going to talk. I want to discuss, you know, about, you know, Jesus' disciples, how, you know, they were, you know, hated by the world. In John, it's found in uh, the book of jo uh, John, uh, 15, 18, it says this. This is what it says. It says, if the world hates you, keep in mind that it, hate, it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you. Out of the world, that is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you. A servant is not greater than, than his master. If they persecute me, they will persecute you. Also, if they, if they, also, if they observe my teaching... They will obey your yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent me. Uh, if I had not come and spoke to them. They would not be guilty of sin, but but now they have no excuse for their sins. Who whoever hated me hates my father as well. If I had no, if I've not done among them the the works no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. As it is, they have seen and yet they have hated both me and my father. But this, but listen to this, but this is to fulfill what is written in their law. They hated me without reason. Now, let me explain to y'all just exactly what that is, okay? Because some of y'all may not, you know, may not, you know, catch it. But let me, let me explain to y'all what the... What the paragraph is saying, it's basically speaking about, you know, today's society. Of how much the world, you know, tends to, you know, blame, you know, the good people. Why they, they tend to blame the bad people, or the good people, and praise, you know, bad people. They tend to, you know, you know, bring down statues and... You know, remove, you know, you know, just remove, you know, statues, especially of Jesus. And they are wanting us to, you know, follow in their, you know, in their way. But Jesus says that we should not follow in their way. But Jesus did, but Jesus does say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come through the Father except through me. What he's saying is, you can't get into heaven, you know, without Jesus. Because Jesus is the key. Jesus is the life, the truth, and the way. And I think we all need to realize that this world has is, you know, is bitter, is, you know, unclean, it's downright dirty, disgusting, foul, and it's desecrated with so much, you know, bitterness in this world. It really, really is. Some of us, you know, have been blind to, you know, the false lies and that are that are going around in this world. So if we were to stay in mind stay in mind and to focus more on, you know, 
who truly is the way, the truth, and life, we can actually focus more on, you know, the Creator instead of, instead of, the, instead of the world. Because right now, COVID-19, uh, this whole pandemic really, really is, you know, a bust. It really, really is. You know, people are, you know, social distancing. They're, you know, wearing masks. Some places, you know, are just, you know, it's it's not it's not even fun, y'all. It's really is it really is not. But the point I'm the point I'm trying to get across, y'all, and hopefully y'all will understand. And hopefully y'all will, you know, see through this. Is that we is that we truly, truly need God right now. We really need to depend on God. And when I mean God, I mean Jesus because Jesus is God. We really need to depend on Him more. Is what God is saying to us right now. He is. He is. He, he wants us, you know, not to rely, you know, on ourselves, but to rely on God. Because we've all, you know, forgotten, you know, who God is, and we're all, you know, f you know, wanting short, you know, of the throne. But let me tell you something. Each and every one of you out there that is watching this video right now, know this: the time. Is coming. Jesus doesn't even know, you know, when it's coming, but I can tell you right now, the time for, you know, time for action is it's time is now. But what I want you to do is I want you to, you know, take some time in in the Word, and just you know read God's Word, and you can find that in you know in my next video. Uh, what I'm talking about. It'll be a challenge video, so stick tuned. Alright, y'all. Thanks for watching, and hopefully this message will get across to each and every one of y'all to, to, you know, say, hey, you know, I need to get, you know, into reading. I need to, you know, focus, you know, more on God and not on, you know, the, pu you know, publicity, uh, you know, the public, you know, you know, the politication, you know, just all that garbage. Keep your keep your mind clean. Keep your mind focused, and remember always, always keep God first in your life. All right. Until then, it's your host J W, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.